sentence is flawed. Now that my heart's back in my body, there's no way you can beat me. But there was no way to beat him without his heart in his body. Exactly. Also, he has a really long tongue. Oh, Jesus. No, oh, I guess. Wrong timing. Bad timing. Oh, man. Super Shroom! Super Shroom! This song is still amazing. Can't hear. Gotta sing it, Jake. Now it's over. <laughs> that was amazing. Wow. We okay, are in the what do you presence want from me? of great is it, composers. Is it really all that fight takes? Well, most of the fight was the heart at the bottom of the well. And then he joins up with Tubba Blub, and it's just like a little half a fight. That was the best song since Brahms' fifth hentai symphony. It's so good. Okay, well, we win because we're the best around. around. So, Bo, you can come with us. You also owe us uh, Star Spirit, please. Give and thank you. you. Give us all of your horror money. <laughs> what happens if you say no? Uh, she will repeatedly, repeatedly ask you until you say yes. Say, but thou must. That being said, however, one thing I really oh. like about Paper Mario, like, for instance, Super Paper Mario, at the beginning of Super Paper Mario, the, oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy asks you to, like, go save the world, basically. And if you say no, he asks you again. He's like, but it has to be you, Mario. You must save the world. The and then if you say no again, he's like, oh, okay then. And you get a game over and you have to start the game over. <laughs> yeah, because there's no save point up to then, is there? No, there isn't. It's fun. It's very funny to me. It's a funny Super game. Paper Mario is, is a good game because you can accidentally game over by being lazy. <laughs> by being a jerk and not saving the world. Also, it is Sour Patch Watermelon time, because... Fuck, oh, yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. I hate you. I'm putting my hand over your face cam, because I don't want to watch you eat this shit. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't have to, because there's a goddamn ad. <laughs> oh, hey, Internet Explorer. Gotcha! Oh my god. I get to watch this baby poop on this guy again. <laughs> This this baby pooping ad it makes me half tempted to pay fucking eight dollars a month for Twitch Turbo, <laughs> just so I can avoid hearing this baby poop like five times an hour. How do you force ad? Are you serious? Two Windows eight things in a row? Oh wait, did you? Was that the end of it? Hmm. Did you did you turn off the stream? No. Oh, someone said good night, everybody. Oh. I was like, oh, did I just get trolled again? No. Aww. No, I wouldn't do that. I'm not ready to be done. Okay. I think uh I think thirty five <sighs> more minutes is it for me. That's my that's my cutting off point. Okay. Yeah, I probably should get to bed before too long, but I'm not ready yet. And I'm having a lot of fun playing this game, so <laughs> You know what I need to do? I just need yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. We were literally right out. We are one step outside of our door, and two Koopas picked, it, picked us up with their horns on their heads, carried us over their heads, and threw us on the floor of our room! What is this? Yeah, so that's you a treat a princess? Why can't they just say, hey, can go, you please go walk back. the one step back inside your room? That's what I would say! Yeah, just, I'd be like, that is a waste of us, government don't us, money! Don't make a strong arm, you just turn around. It's hentai. Yes. There was probably a hidden scene that we didn't see. E3 confirmed hentai in Paper Mario. <laughs> oh god. He wants to see paper tits. E3 confirmed if you stare at the pictures in the Hyrule Castle Garden Oops. in Ocarina of Time for long enough, they turn into. It confirms Half Life 3. Jake's face. Confirmed, I am a Zelda master, I know this. It's a gift set of Jake saying, E3 confirmed. 
I'm in this game. <laughs> Back in 1997. Yes. I like how they find Peach. They're like, and Peach is like, What's up, it's Al? the best. Once there was this With a little triangle <laughs> smile, and she's just like, all happy. He never explains what he's gonna do once he's captured Princess Peach, does he? Oh, I should actually pay attention to this. What the hell so is this? This is important. Uh. Weaknesses. I don't know Goomba. what the first thing I said was. Hopefully it was just Goomba. You said Goomba. I said Goomba? Sweet. I don't care about a Goomba. I think that was the one where I could have chosen Mushroom. Peekle sings mm 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 hentai confirmed. Hentai. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Oh, uh, what if there was just a convention called hentai? Hey, you going to hentai? Yeah, I'll see you there. Ugh. You got a hotel room for hentai? What does that stand for, Patrick? <laughs> it doesn't stand for anything. That's the name. It's, of it. just, it's just the world's biggest nerd jerk off. People, people call oh. it like the, the Big H. Big H. You going to the Big H? <laughs> yeah, I got my tickets. They sold out in like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't have enough, I don't have that much money for the Big H. We're just gonna have to big, eat at the Big M. Oh, also, I this happened a long time ago, but I feel bad and I feel like I should mention it. Uh, David, I won't say your last name. Uh, donated twenty five dollars to me, so thank you very much, David. Thanks, David, for donating. Is there no way to put a comment on that? I'll have to look into if there's a way to put a comment on that. But thank you very much. I really appreciate it. That's just gonna probably go straight towards college. So I'm not gonna waste it. Hopefully. As your reward for donating, David, I'm gonna sing the first verse and first chorus of. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Once there was this kid who. Got into an accident and couldn't come to school, but finally he came back. His hair had turned from black to bright white. He said it that was from when the car had smashed so hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. Best song. <laughs> Turn from black to bright white. I haven't unlocked the pipe here yet, have I? I don't think that's I have. That's what too. No, I haven't. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that, that mm -mm -mm song is a yawn causer for sure. <laughs> you listen to that shit, you're like, oh, I am complacent with everything. <laughs> I am now officially Canadian. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> this guy again. More power! Okay, so oh, Boo's wow, smack wow, isn't gonna do any damage, unfortunately. So we need Paracarry. Because he has one defense. Um, because our jump should be hitting him for two if he didn't have any defense. However, it's only hitting for one, and Boo's attack only does one damage, so it would be doing no damage five times. As opposed to Paracarry's two damage that he does with his kid. Okay, can someone help me make sense of the lyrics of this song that I've been singing for like the last two hours? Because I just read the lyrics and it, it's really weird and doesn't make sense. Okay. Once there was this kid who got into an accident and couldn't come to school, but when he finally came back, his hair turned from black to bright white. He said that it was from when the car had smashed so hard. Mm -hmm. Once there was this girl who wouldn't go and change with the girls in the change room. But when they finally made her, they saw birthmarks all over her body. She couldn't quite explain it, they'd always just been there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> but both girl and boy were glad, because one kid had it worse than that. Because then there was this boy whose parents made him come directly home right after school. 
and when they went to their church, they shook and lurched all over the church floor. He couldn't quite explain it. They'd always just gone there. That's the song. Wait, you don't get it? Oh, now it all makes sense. No, I don't get it. Well, Pat, jeez, I thought you understood music better than that. Thank you, Snade Transfer. I thought it was somewhere around there, but I wasn't sure. I wasted <laughs> some flower power, though. So that wasn't ideal. At least we missed it. At least we did not miss that. The funny part about that song is that they wrote the verses before they wrote the chorus because they had the tune for the chorus, but not the words, so that when they were practicing it, they would sing the verses and then just it. um the chorus and then they're just like you know what just fucking keep it. <laughs> so it's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oops. But reading the lyrics of the verses makes me wonder, like, what the fuck were they trying to write in a chorus for that? What could eight, they write? Eight syllables to repeat over those lyrics. Also, the first victim of a badge-only run is us. He couldn't quite explain it. Jake has always sucked at yep. Paper Mario the game. Ding. Okay. Patrick, you mess with our badges. FP plus. The answer yeah. is in the song itself. They can't explain it. Uh. Oh. I don't think any of the rest of those are worth it. We'll do no. FP plus again. No, the boy explained it, though. Oh, no, no. Can you buy my soul or my haircut? Sorry, neither are for sale. Okay, so let me get this straight. The boy was in a car accident, and the impact caused his hair to go from black to bright white. That's And it doesn't say he doesn't know why. No, it doesn't say that. It, that's just how it ends. I think yeah. it's just trying to say that some Once things there in was life this are kid. unexpectable. Or un Once there was this kid who got into an accident and couldn't come to school, but when he finally came back, his hair had turned from black to bright white. He you said that it was from when the car had smashed so hard. Do you really want to know? Drugs. That's what. That's so the cool. reason. That is the reason. Purple That's haze. It is. in the sky. The song okay, makes sense. Now we just have some more flower power. I forgot that I wasn't actually equipping badges, because I'm dumb. Yeah, if you're gonna do an all bad or yeah, badge I'm gonna only. Do an, a badge only run, I should actually equip badges. Yeah, probably. Ah, Kenzuko, you were. Oh, is it 40? No wonder he didn't die last time. I don't know if I told. Maybe it did. I think I did tell you, Jake, while we were playing Halo. I was at Atmos Stream. We were watching Avatar. Yeah. And I invented girl bending. Girl bending. Girl bending. How do you do it? When you see an attractive woman, you say, oh, I'd bend her so hard. Girl bend. You didn't tell me that, and that's weird. Also, <laughs> I can't seem to get this for some reason. It's because Atmo is streaming uh, Avatar, the show, for a while. He streamed the entire thing, and I watched a lot of it. And by the end of it, I just got so, uh, more or less, antsy. When you say Avatar the show, do you mean... Uh, the Last Airbender yes. or Legend of Korra? That's what he means. Airbender. Airbender. Okay. But I don't like saying Avatar The Last Airbender because then it's like the movie and it's sad. No one ever thinks of the movie. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Text! Holy <laughs> shit. To quote Wikipedia on the song, you just know, verse Wikipedia, describes the isolation Patrick. and suffering of a child, two of whom have had a physical abnormality, abnormality, the girl covered in birthmarks. Third child is a boy whose parents... Oh, I skipped a line. Yeah, it doesn't matter. A boy whose hair was prematurely whitened and, sh and from shock, and a girl who who, who's covered in birthmarks. The third child is... Oh, God. Scrolling up is hard. And I know, reading. I know. Uh, the third child is a boy whose parents take him with them to their church where they'd shake and lurch on the floor. His situation is said to be worse than the other children's during a live performance for Kink FM singer Brad Roberts whispered during the third verse Pentecostal, probably oh. to mention that this third verse based on this religion. 
an alternative version sometimes performed at live concert replaced the third verse with one concerning a boy whose mother disposed of his tonsils after a tonsillectomy, thus depriving him of the possibility of bringing them to show and tell. <laughs> Who brings your tonsils?